Chris. And developing now, a Paulding County school bus driver now out of a job after an argument with frustrated parents spiraled out of control. Tonight, the Dallas Police Department is looking into pursuing criminal charges. Joe Ripley has new video of the confrontation that has gone viral. I don't know why or even how it got to that point. It should have never even gotten to that point. Parent Dana Tool on the situation that ended up getting a substitute bus driver fired from the Paulding County School District. Tool had two kids on that bus. Social media video shows a parent slapping the bus driver after parents say she wouldn't let kids off and push the parent trying to get on the bus. After the slap, the driver shuts the door and drives off with the kids. The parents were really reckless, irresponsible at the time. I think things should have been definitely held, handled a lot differently than they were. The district says young students are required to wear a bus stop tag on their book bag. We're told at least one child did not have theirs, so the bus driver was hesitant to let them off. Paulding County residents tell me this is one of the busiest intersections in the county. Jimmy Campbell Parkway and Old Harris Road. It's always busy. It's like we've, we've watched a couple accidents here. You know, people, people point out in front of each other. And there's Sometimes there's pedestrians coming across. Yako Swanepoel witnessed the confrontation. After the bus drove off and stopped at a light, video shows kids throwing backpacks and trying to climb out of the windows to parents. Nobody knows really who's to blame as far as I know. Some people are blaming the bus driver and some people are blaming the parents, but yeah, I don't really know. Dallas police were called to respond. They tell 11 Alive charges could be filed against the parent who slapped the bus driver, but more investigation needs to follow. All students eventually got home safely. Dana Tool says the school district needs to make some changes. Maybe drop off should be a little different, so that way this doesn't happen again. 11 Alive reached out to the school district for comment, but got no response. In Paulding County, Joe Ripley, 11 Alive News.